Apple Watch development. In this lesson, we're going to be covering how to deal with text input from the user, specifically with dictation. So if the user says something, we can capture what they say and we can put it in our app. So we're going to start by adding a button and a label to our app. So let's find a button, let's drag it on in, and let's change the text on it to tap me. And let's go in the same menu and find a label. Let's drag this on in, and we can expand this. From here, we're going to go back to our interface controller Swift file, and we're going to create an action for the button and an outlet for the label. So let's create an outlet for my label. It'll be of type label. And let's create an action called button tapped. And what's going what's gonna to happen is once we tap this button, we should be presented with a way to uh, enter text. And once we're done entering it, uh, in this case, speaking the text, dictating it, our label should show whatever we've entered. So let's go back to our interface builder and connect our outlet in action. So our label goes to our label, our button tapped goes to our button. In our Swift file, we are going to be using a nifty feature that's built into the Apple Watch uh, called a text, uh, text input controller. And that gives us options to let the user input text via their mic on the watch, uh, emojis, animated emojis, etc. And to utilize it, it's pretty simple. We're going to basically do self dot present input text input. Oops, text input and suggestions. We're not going to add any suggestions. This is if you want to pre-fill some things where they can just tap in, uh, enter in like a quick reply. The allowed input modes are going to be, let's just do allow emoji and completion. This is where we're going to get our actual results. We're going to first make sure we actually got a result and the user didn't hit done without entering anything, in this case, speaking anything. So we're going to say guard let results results equal results else return and what this is basically saying is make sure there is actually something in the results right it's a kind of a fancy way of saying it then what we're going to do is we need to dismiss this text input screen and we want to update our labels text now we want to do both of those things immediately so the user can see it happening and to do that we want to do it on the main thread if you're not familiar with threading, that's totally fine. I can make another lesson explaining it. Um, please feel free to put comments below or kind of just do a quick Google search of what that is. It's not really relevant to the beginner uh, series, but stick with me here and we'll get this done. So we're going to do operation queue dot main and we're going to do add operation. And the two things we want to do is we want to dismiss this text input controller. And the other thing we want to do is we want to say my label, we want to set its text. And we want the text to be the results. And the first thing in the result as a string. And that about does it. Uh, once we run our app, we'll see that we can input text via dictation and from there it will update in our label so let's run our app on our watch really fast and give it a second to load and we'll see we have a label here and our button we're going to tap our button which presents this nice controller where we can pick if we want to enter an emoji or use the mic to say something so let's hit the mic and it'll start picking up what we are saying we'll hit done and we'll see that it has updated our label. Now our label is not big enough, so it has cut off the end um, of our text because it's long. But in essence, you get the main theme of the lesson. So let's just recap super fast. 
So what we've done here is we've created an outlet for the label so we can set its text via code. We have created an action and hooked it up to our button. In our action, we present this text input controller. We say there's no suggestions. We allow emoji input. And once it's completed, we get results in this block. We make sure that the result isn't empty. If it is empty, it just returns out of here and never tries to go down here. Then we want immediate feedback, so we add an operation to this main thing. We dismiss this text input, and after that, we update the label's text via the first thing in results, and we want to make sure it's a string. So results is actually a collection of things that you get back, and that's just the way that Apple has designed it. So we want to get the first thing, which is a string, and we'll set it to our text label and when we go to our storyboard in here we have our label and our button and we've connected an outlet to the label and a action to this button and that about does it for this lesson uh, i hope you followed along and found it helpful i encourage you to go through it again definitely leave a comment uh, if you have any questions and i will see you in the next lesson